Um, okay, so you guys are in South Georgia in August. A, how hot did it get? And B, I assume it didn't rain because we've been in a drought for like three years. Yeah. yeah. It, we actually got really lucky. I think. Uh, well, it, it was. I think we got rained out like a half a day in all, you know, 30 days down there, a little over 30 days. And um, it was blazing hot. Actually, what's funny is a lot of the people you know came down. I mean, half of our cast crew from Georgia and half of them were from L.A. And uh, the ones from L.A. had a really hard time getting used to it. And I never got so many glares in my life because I scheduled August in Georgia. My fault. Gary also scheduled all the running that we did like on the hottest day, <laughs> all running all that no day, shade. no shade, out in the forest. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually funny, the, the, first, the first thing that we shot in the most popular world was the mine scene. And um, my, when we were going through costume, I had a gray t-shirt and it was a light gray t-shirt. And about 15 minutes into shooting, Sweat started coming different places, sweat started coming down. By about an hour in, my shirt was almost completely soaked. And for continuity, the rest of the movie had, had to be sprayed down the entire movie. And that dark, that dark t-shirt, every once in a while you might cast a little coolness, but most of the time it is dead on. And uh, when we did the pickups in Los Angeles in December, <laughs> and it was about nine degrees in the National Forest. Man, I wish I'd changed that schedule. <laughs> I have one other thing to add. It was being from Georgia, we're used to the to the heat and everything, and all the and all the actors come in and they're normally, you know, uh, somewhat prima donnas. And it was great because on this shoot, everyone sat down and they chowed down because they knew they would sweat off everything the next day. So uh, it was it was a uh, that was a nice part for me being a sound guy. Yeah. On top of that, um, Gary's mom and grandmother. Fed the whole crew <laughs> at their small day. There's a lot of you know, sweaty, st stinky guys coming in for lunch after sweating five through five t shirts. You know. The best catering you could ever get, I'm telling you. <laughs> if they would ever do it again, I'd say Hiram. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to do that again. <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to ask.